Well, of the thousands of participants, nearly every one of them have a different reason for running the marathon. Some do it for fun, others for the competition, and some do it to support a cause. THV 11's Mitch Lilly followed one of those runners today, fighting much more than the 26-mile course. 73-year-old Don Wright, his daughter and his wife reside in Duluth, Minnesota, but Sunday they were participants in the Little Rock Marathon. We know this marathon because we did it eight years ago and I love it. In fact, Don Wright has competed in marathons in all 50 states. We decided that we kind of like traveling around the country and running marathons, so we just picked off one here, one there, Fargo, North Dakota, Green Bay, Wisconsin. This year's Little Rock Marathon marking marathon number 79 for Don Wright all time. And what's hard to believe, he's gonna try to reach 100 by the end of the year. 100 night seemed like a nice round number to, to shoot for. And I think when we get to 100, we'll probably do 101. Wright's 100 marathon movement began in 2003 when he was diagnosed with the blood cancer multiple myeloma. Medical innovations have provided Wright with long-term disease management. I just take a little pill every night, and there's no chemo, there's no serious side effects, and it's just, it, it's, I can live life like a normal person. Far from normal is Don Wright, a true hero racing against cancer 26 miles at a time. Crossing the finish line is, 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 it's a mix, mixture of feelings. It's a, there's a, Tremendous pleasure of, of accomplishing that 26 miles and also an enormous feeling of relief uh, that it's done. In Little Rock, Mitch Lilly, THV 11. March is Myeloma Awareness Month. Next on Wright's list of races to conquer, the marathon in Ann Arbor, Michigan on March 30th.